Hey you guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm finally bringing you my review of the Razer phone after two weeks of usage. Keep in mind, I've been using this smartphone as my main device. I put my SIM card in since day one, and I've been using it since day one, so now it's time to share with you guys my short review of the Razer phone. Now, first of all, let's go and start with the things that I really like about this, this Razer phone. And I have to start with the dual front facing speakers. Now, there is no smartphone out there in the market. So I'm going to tell you right now, there's no smartphone out there in the market that sounds better than this phone. Uh, this phone, the front facing speakers, they're actually Atmos certified, Dolby Atmos certified and THX certified, something like that. Um, and it sounds really, really incredible, especially if you're watching videos or listening to podcasts or playing video games. Everything's gonna sound really, really good on this smartphone. So that's one thing that I really like. Also, of course, the performance. Um, this smartphone has the latest 835 Snapdragon, which uh, every high-end smartphone out there has, but this smartphone actually has the eight gigabytes of RAM, which um, when it comes to playing video games and you're doing other multitasking stuff around uh, in the background, that is gonna be very, very, very convenient. Uh, games do not lag at all when it comes to playing video games here. I played a lot of different type of games and I haven't had no problems whatsoever playing video games on this smartphone now also another thing that is really really popular with this phone is the fact that it has a 5.7 inch screen but the screen is actually 120 hertz um, and of course is a quad hd which means it's a 1440p screen um, but everything looks pretty re really really good here um, everything runs really smooth uh, when you're going through websites and we're going through flipboard or facebook um, everything the swipes and everything feels really smooth on this device when you're playing video games uh, it doesn't matter how intense the video games is it's actually everything actually feels really smooth so that's one thing that i really like about the screen uh, but of course the other thing that i really like about the screen is also the build quality the build quality this is basically like made out of metal um, all around it feels like the razor laptops they are really cool if you've seen them before they are really cool built and it feels really really nice of course the, um, some people might not like the blocky design but i actually think it actually looks good and it feels good in my hands and the fact that it has the two speakers in the front for me that's like a nice looking uh, aesthetic thing that it, this phone has that you can't see on any other smartphone and you can't confuse this smartphone with any other smartphone out there in the market and of course the other thing that i like about this smartphone is that it feels like stock android it feels like a google smartphone device because um the main software that's running on this device is actually nova launcher if you use nova launcher before you know that it's basically like stock android but it actually lets you do a lot of customization to the home screen to the draw to the uh some of the buttons gestures and all that so it does feel really really good so if you like nova launcher you're gonna love this phone because it comes out of the box with nova launcher but of course if you don't like nova launcher this is android and remember you can just go ahead and swap uh put in any launcher that you want on this device which uh, one of my favorite one is the microsoft launcher which is really good as well and it looks really good on this device now, when it comes to battery life, I've been getting around 15 hours of battery life, sometimes even 12 hours of battery life, depending what I'm actually doing on this smartphone during the day. Um, it has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, but at least it also has fast charging as well, which is gonna give you almost a full charge really really fast uh another awesome thing about this smartphone which i really like is the placement of the fingerprint scanner it's right next to the side of the 
phone. And when I'm grabbing it with my right hand, I got my, my thumb right there. When I'm grabbing it with my left hand, I have my middle finger right there. So for me, I like the position because it feels natural when you're locking and unlocking the device. And also it doesn't get in the way and you're not accidentally like touching the camera uh, like you would on other devices. So for me, I really like the position of the scanner and it actually works pretty fast as well. Now let's talk about the things that I don't like about the Razer phone because just like every other smartphone out there in the market, it is not perfect. But keep in mind, this smartphone is $700 and in my opinion, that is a high-end phone. This is not a budget phone and I'm pretty sure Razer do not intend to for you to consider this a budget phone. It is a high-end phone just like every other product that Razer sells, right? But the problem with this smartphone is my number one main problem with this smartphone is the same problem that everybody's having is the camera uh, after two weeks i gotta say that the camera it still hasn't got a good update that would actually fix all the problems that we're having uh, like for example the camera quality when it comes to pictures and videos in low light it is not really good at all it does take good pictures in my opinion when it comes to good lighting if for me it actually takes good pictures it's not that bad and like you see in the video there they don't look that bad uh, but once the lights keep going down it just keeps getting worse inside pictures like inside rooms or houses and all that it, it it's hard to even focus sometimes on 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 the subject that you're trying to take a picture of the camera the camera application is also so bare bones simple that is missing so many features like portrait mode like um landscape um, um panorama mode like panorama mode slow motion um it's missing so many features is so bare bone um also the hdr is not good at all the hdr uh reminds me of the hdr of like four years ago remember you you, you choose hdr on and you you would actually actually have to hold the camera still to take a picture and do not move it until it finished processing well that's the hdr you're getting with this smartphone and, and that is really old school in my opinion i really don't like that it makes the photos most of the times all the photos are just bad when you're trying to use hdr so just avoid hdr of course razor said that they're actually working on an update for this smartphone but as it is right now at this moment over two weeks later, um, I'm still having the same experience, so I have to share my opinion about the camera as it is right now. And of course, the other thing that I don't like about the smartphone is that it doesn't have a headphone jack. Now, a lot of people might be saying, okay, but we're already moving past that already. We should get already used to that. It doesn't have a headphone jack. Well, guess what? There's so many great smartphones out there in the market that are thinner than this, than this device, have a bigger screen than this, than this device, and they actually have a headphone jack. So for me, there's no excuse for that. And for those saying, oh, but you could use headphone, uh, why? wireless headphone bluetooth headphone with this device yes you can just the other day i was using bluetooth headphones um when my me and my wife were in the hospital i was waiting for her in the waiting room and my bluetooth headphones battery died when i go and reach for my um, cable headphones i was like wait a second this doesn't have a headphone jack sucks because i had to stop listening to my podcast and just wait for my wife because just because it has great speakers doesn't mean that i can actually listen to music in a waiting room okay so yeah for those that saying that it doesn't matter yes it does matter in my opinion especially when it's over 700 dollars some people might not like the design of the smartphone. For me, it's not a problem. I really like the design of the smartphone. But some people might not like the design of the smartphone because it's a 5.7 inch screen in a body that actually looks and feels a lot bigger than the Galaxy S8 Plus or the Galaxy S8 that actually has around 5.7 inch screen. This next to those phones looks huge. And in the pockets, for some people, it might actually feels a, feel a, like a really big bulk as well. So for a lot of people, they might not like this design. I actually recommend you try it out before you, tr you, um, 
you buy it, but the, sadly, there's not a lot of places you can actually try it out there because it's mainly sold on Razor.com or RazorZone.com. And right now, also Amazon, I think they also have it on sale, which I'm going to leave links in the bottom as well. Um, another thing that I don't like because I'm already used to it is that it has no wireless charging. I'm already, I've been using wireless charging since I think the Galaxy Note 5 or Note 4. I've been using it every day every day i use the uh, wireless charging this phone does not have wireless charging it doesn't it's not water resistant at all any level whatsoever so for me that's a big you know a big negative the fact that it has no wireless charging um also of course the battery it has 4000 milliamp hour battery but honestly it's not that impressive when you consider there's you know with the galaxy s a plus it has 33 milliamp hour battery and i'm actually getting around the same battery life as this smartphone so for me battery life is not that impressive now there's another problem that i've been having with this smartphone that i was not going to include on this video but if i want to be honest with you guys and you guys are going to be asking me hey why are you not using the razor phone uh lately my smartphone like two or three days ago no more than three days ago um my fingerprint scanner went dead i totally went dead it won't recognize my fingerprints at all it won't let me register my fingerprints it won't the fingerprint settings is not even available anywhere i don't know what the hell happened because i haven't um uh, installed any application or anything like that that would actually affect the fingerprint um and it's not working for me so um right now i'm in the process of working it out with razor.com uh it's been taking a while it's been taking like almost four or five days and still I'm working on it, but you know, right now the fingerprint scanner is not working for me, and maybe that's the reason why. If you don't see me with using this smartphone anymore, um, it's because I returned it, um, and it's because of the fingerprint scanner. Uh, it totally went dead, and I don't know what happened because I haven't heard anybody have the same problem as I did. Uh, maybe there is, but I haven't looked for it. But my my fingerprint scanner went bad, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing that I don't like about this smartphone is that when it vibrates, uh, it feels like the whole phone is like rattling, and that's not good because it actually feels cheap when it's vibrating. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But other than that, uh, in my opinion, this is a good phone if you just wanted to just play media on it, um, play use the speakers. Um, if you like the screen, yes, the screen looks good, but keep in mind, the Galaxy S devices or Galaxy Note devices actually have great, beautiful screens as well. So honestly, just because it has a 120 hertz screen, that w I wouldn't choose that over a super AMOLED screen just because of that. At the end of the day, this is a good smartphone. It is a good smartphone. It is a fast smartphone. It sounds great. It has a great speaker, but it has a lot of bad things that honestly, in my opinion, are a deal breakers for me. In my opinion, if this phone was a lot cheaper, like a budget phone or mid-range budget phone, $500, maybe this phone would be right there considered uh, by a lot of people. But right now as it is for me, I don't, I can't keep on using it because it's missing a lot of those things and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't compare when it comes to all the great features that a Galaxy S8 Plus actually has to offer. And of course, the fact that my fingerprint scanner went dead, uh, that's another thing that I really don't like. It's a deal breaker for me as well. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know what you think about this review. Uh, if you have any question about the Razer phone, just let me know in the comments. And of course, I'll leave links in my description for this smartphone as well. If you want to read into it or buy it as, as well, I'll leave links in my description. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.